Look at enough birds, and you might notice that some birds carry tiny metallic bands on their legs. Like this, or this. Where did these birds find such fancy jewelry? And what do those tiny numbers mean? Well, people put them there, but why? Why do we band birds? Each year, bird experts across North America place bands like these on over a million birds. The birds are caught in a variety of nets and traps, all designed to be safe for the bird. Highly trained volunteers and researchers then record each bird's age, weight, and capture location in a special log. They will later report all of this data to the U.S. government's bird banding laboratory in Maryland. Finally, they attach a small metal band to the bird's leg and let the bird fly free. The bands are very lightweight and it does not hurt the bird at all. And we have records of catching birds day after day, year after year. The band on each bird carries a unique number on record at the bird banding laboratory. Other bird banders, hunters, or anyone who finds a banded bird can report their sighting to the laboratory. By tracking individual birds over time and across North and South America, bird experts learn about the lives and habits of different bird species. We can use that information to help be better land managers and preserve habitat and learn as much as possible about birds. Bird banding has helped us track the main flight paths of migratory birds, monitor the growth and decline of bird populations, and even identify the animal with the longest migration in the world. Every year, Arctic terns migrate from pole to pole twice. We've known that for a while. Recently, however, advanced location tracking bands revealed that Arctic terns migrate in a convoluted path, flying almost 50,000 miles every year. Over a single tern's lifetime, all those migrations add up to three trips to the moon and back. I'm Harrison Dreves, and thanks for watching.